Hello, members of Gaku Channel. My name is Cheryl Norales. I am the founder and president of Garrison American Heritage Foundation United here in Los Angeles. I would like to welcome you to our first segment of the Garrison Forum Online. A tribute to Garrison women in music. Conversation about Garifuna music always centered around the popular male singers, but hardly ever do we talk about the contributions that women have made throughout the years. Dominant female figures in the Garifuna music are hard to find, but we can easily agree to mention the most relevant women out there who are in the movement, such as Paula Castillo, Chela Torres, Marie Centino, and from the Guatemala Collective, Garifuna Women's Project, Sofia and Silvia Blanco, Sandra, Desiree Diego, Marcelina Masaku fernandez Witti, Julia Nunez, Rosa Bermudez, Alfa and Marcela Arana, Elodia Norberto, Bernardine Flores, Sarita Martinez, and Damiana Gutierrez. There are also those women who have left us a great legacy. Some are still here with us and some have passed away. There are also those women who have left us a great legacy. Some are still here with us and some have passed away to a better life. I can name a few ladies from the West Coast of the United States. For example, Lady Lard, Dolores Norales, Sally Reyes, Virgin Enriquez, Georgette Lampe, Lady Bu, Bertha Laredo, and Asiatic sister Darla Lewis. From the East Coast, Marianne Martin, Tommy Avila, Sandra, and Paula Castillo. There are other women who were, who were well known in their communities for their musical talent, but who did not get a chance to record their music. A good example would be Marcella Lewis from Dangrica, Francisca Alvarez, and Anise Rodriguez from Livingston, and many others from Honduras. A few years back, Ronnie Figueroa published a radio show on YouTube, Tribute to Garifuna Women, Part 1. This video has 1.1 thousand views in six years, but it showcases some of the most intriguing songs performed by some of the most talented women in music. This show was prepared with the purpose to educate our audience, but it was a difficult show to produce because of the number of women who have recorded excellent music along the years but it is hard to come across their recordings. A clear example are Lady Lard and Dolores Norales, who recorded several songs in the early 70s and 80s here in Los Angeles, along with Don Houston Flores. The ensemble was called Ritmo Caribe Campo, but they promoted themselves as the Garifuna Singers. I can say that I am lucky enough to own several of these vinyls which I eventually converted them to MP3 for the sole purpose of this show, says Ronnie Figueroa. Let me introduce you from Belize in Los Angeles, Reke Nuani, number one album featuring Fidelis Garcia and Virgin Enriquez under Garifuna Records label. Also, the 1978 Garifuna Settlement Day Committee album that read presents the great Isabel Flores in Hollywood, featuring Virgin Enriquez as the lead vocalist Martha Enriquez, Elvira Lampe, Fran Francisca Herrera, Christine Ellis, and Simeona Valerio. Again, under the same Garifuna Records label presents, featuring Althea Lopez, Ambrosia Lino, Fidelis Garcia, and Cecilia Flores. And last but not least, the album under the same label in memory of Thomas V. Ramos, the father of Garifuna Settlement Day Celebration, featuring Francis Norberto. From Guatemala, Garifuna Fursu Hao La Bugana, featuring Eulalia Norales, Erlinda Ramirez, and Amundo Avila. Also the great Gloria Osides, whose voice is compared to the late Celia Cruz. Gloria was born in Bananera, Isabel. She had her beginning as a singer when she was part of a church choir. She traveled to New Orleans, Chicago, Detroit, New York, Puerto Rico, Dominican Republic, Los Angeles, Honduras, El Salvador, where she recorded an album with Orquesta Gran Caribe Show. Gloria lived in Bayamo, Puerto Rico, and worked with a salsa orchestra called Fases. She performed at Hostess College in the Bronx, right next to Hector Lavoie, Willie Colon, 
and Anthony Montanez. I have to make mention of one of the most relevant and respected women in music business. I am talking about Paula Castillo. Paula was born in La Buga Livingston, Guatemala, and later migrated to Bronx, New York, where she found her calling for music. She started her own career as a singer, financing her own records, paying for studio and arrangements of each one of her songs. Her producer and arranger is Pablo Fernandez Pickett, owner of Pickett Studio. Paula has retained Pickett as her only partner from the conception of her first album, Nuguya Narulabu, La India Garifuna, to her latest album. Lately, Paula Castillo has been working on a single with Carlos Bonilla, aka Sociate GCK, called Bukuna Kuna, which is published on her YouTube under Five Star Family HN channel with 234 subscribers and 50,000 views. I highly recommend taking a good listen to this Punta song, says Ronnie Figueroa. From Honduras and a member of the Ballet Folkloric Garifuna de Honduras, Ernestina Fernandez Neta and Erika Ciego. From Trujillo, Taquia, and from Trujillo de la Cruz via New York, Sandra Zuniga, Marta Guevara, Nanuku, and Erika Martinez, ex member of Chica Rollins. Also, Descarza Santa Fe, Garifuna de Honduras. Departamento Colón, featuring Eulogia Martinez and Juliana Norales. Let's not forget Caída Diego, a prolific paranda singer with the late Grupo Selpa from New York, and who also released her own solo album, Parandiando con Caída Diego. Thank you so much for joining us for this segment. Again, this segment was based on an article written by Ronnie Figueroa, the CFO and the co-founder of Garrison American Heritage Foundation. If you like what you're seeing, don't forget to subscribe to our Gafu channel. And don't forget to leave a message. See you soon. Hey,